1000 FPS out of a Sony A7S III, is that even real? Well, yeah, and today I'm gonna show you how you can do that. So if you know the Sony A7S III, you know that this camera shoots at a maximum 240 frames per second. Then how the hell am I shooting 1000 FPS on this camera? Well, it's a trick and I'm gonna teach you how to do it. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna film everything at 240 FPS, but we're gonna spice things up with some settings that will allow us to go past 240 FPS in post-production and therefore we can achieve 1000 FPS later on. So I know that by now you might be very curious what's the trick and what we're gonna do. So let me explain. I'm gonna shoot everything in 240 FPS in 180p but I'm gonna crank the shutter speed to one times 4000. You can go even higher, the higher the better. And this is where the trick comes in. The higher the shutter speed is, the easier our effect can work because this is a post-processing method. And I'm gonna show you where we get it back to the post-processing software, but until then, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna shoot this. In order to shoot one times 4,000, you need ton of light. And therefore, that's why we are using our Nanolite Forza 500, which is one of the most powerful lights I have. I have here a top light, which is a Forza 60. It's also a very powerful light. And we also have there our Nanolite Forza 60B with a projector lens that makes this beautiful light in the background and gives a really nice touch to the image. What we're gonna do next is um, I'm gonna fine tune the lighting and everything and we're gonna throw some things in the air and show you how it looks. Then we're gonna go home and we're gonna apply the effect and I'm gonna show you how a big difference that affects puts on the image and how more beautiful it looks in 1000 FPS. Let's go! So guys, that was pretty impressive, right? It almost looks like a super slow motion camera that shoots really slow motion in slow motion. <laughs> anyway, I think the footage turned out pretty nice and the thing with this kind of effect is that it will not work on any shot you take. So it's a little bit risky when you film it. So like I said, the higher the shutter speed, the better the effect will work. In our case, most of the shots worked great, but there are some shots that didn't work as great and I'm gonna show you how it looks when it doesn't look great. But we're gonna go inside DaVinci Resolve and I'm gonna show you exactly how you do it. If you guys use a different software, I'm sorry, this is just DaVinci Resolve only tutorial. Uh, but anyway, I think you can do uh, similar stuff inside your editing software as well. So let's dive in and show exactly how I did it. Okay guys, so we are now inside DaVinci Resolve and we're gonna take this shot for example. And uh, it looks pretty cool and I think it's a really good shot to test this effect on. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna duplicate the clip and I'm gonna show you exactly how it looks with the effect and without the effect or vice versa. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna right click on the mouse and we're gonna go to runtime curve. And here we're gonna expand our timeline a little bit and we're gonna hit runtime speed and we're gonna deselect runtime frame. And now 
I'm gonna go on the clip where I want my footage to slow down, which is about here. I'm gonna option key and click on this and then I'm gonna put an out frame. So it's gonna be around here. So right now to make this shot a little bit slower, what I have to do is bring this down to the amount that I want and we're gonna bring this down to 10%, which is super slow. What we're gonna do right now to amplify a little bit the slowness of the frame, and as you see, it kind of lags, it looks pretty ugly and we don't like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this clip a little bit longer. We're gonna ramp up the speed a little bit so we can amplify the slow down effect. So let's see exactly how we're gonna do it. So right now looks pretty cool, bam. To make this uh, transition here so it's not so steep and without like um, a little bit of a curvature, we're gonna hit Alt Option key again here and we're gonna click here on this one and I'm gonna press on this button right here and it's gonna make our curve way much smoother so it will transition into the slow effect really nice. And here I'm gonna take this a little bit closer because it's already too much slow and I'm gonna bring this up again. So, and also I'm gonna hit option again and do the same curvature thing once again. So it's gonna be a little bit more smooth. And only thing I have to do right now is go here into runtime and scaling and press this project settings to optical flow and then to speed warp. And now your computer will catch some fire because if you try to look on the footage, it's not gonna play back. So if you want your footage to be play, play backable or if you want your footage to be able to see exactly what you have done, you have to go here into playback into render cache or cache or how you guys call it and then hit user. Then we're gonna go to the clip and render cache color output. And after you hit this, you're gonna have to wait for five minutes or so until this renders and then you will be able to see the clip and the clip will look something similar to this one, which is really, really awesome. So, uh, with all this being said, this is pretty much everything you have to do. It's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. And the only thing is <laughs> you're gonna have to kind of wait between renders just to see if you've done things good or not. But as you see, it works waiting because it works. So you're not gonna lose a lot of money uh, in production because you can save some money that you might spend on a Phantom Flex. That is very expensive. You can save some money there and use it for set design or something else and use your Sony a7S III just to make this really awesome slow motion shot. So I really hope this tutorial was helpful. If it was, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, let's connect there, let's connect here, and let's build a community that is here to learn some epic stuff and uh, have fun filming. Cheers guys, have an amazing week, and uh, can't wait to see you guys again soon.